All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So we have a draft booster box of Modern Horizons 2 to open. There it is in all of its glory. Broaden your horizons. So let's get right to it. Now, if you know me in the past, I typically don't like to uh, have expectations for a box because then, you know, there's less chance you're going to let it down. Um, but in this case, um, I'm going to go with some expectations because uh, that set booster I opened wasn't that great at all. So I'm hoping for, let's say, a couple... Uh, a couple um, fetch lands. Um, I want a Void Stalker, uh, another Heart Arc, because that would give me a playset. Um, let's see what else I'm looking for. Definitely at least one uh, Urza Saga. And uh, let's get one of the spicy mythics. You know, let's look for a Grief or a Ragavan. Let's get one of those ones, right? So, and of course, I want as many Dragon Rage Channelers as possible, but given that they're one of the short print. Um, cards, it's going to be a little more difficult. So I'm going to pull those out even though 99% of them are going to be not great. But we're still going to go hunting uh, for whatever we can get. So our first rare our reprint is going to be a Karmic Guide. And we get an Old Border Scalding Tower now in our first pack. So, funny enough, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. The Scalding Tower is like the one uh, retro old frame that I did not buy yet. And I was actually debating buying these. And I was, had them in my cart, and I was going to buy them over the Misty's. And I thought, hmm, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me get those, because uh, the Misty's were a little bit cheaper. And I was like, let me get the Misty's later, or the Misty's first, because I, I play more green base decks. So I don't want the Misty's. Um, and I'm like, I'll get the Scal Scalding Turns another time. So that is hilarious and uh, just incredibly good fortune. I was kind of worried about that too, but I thought, nah, my luck's not that good. I'm not going to open up any of the retro fetch lands like my other boxes you know weren't uh weren't great you know and there's no uh, no chance i'm gonna open up let me put the foils right here so i am in absolute shock and for a first pack that is crazy all right so these are gonna be the hits the big hits right there so i think this box is going to uh oh that's a nice one is going to uh i got good feelings about this box so far and holy cow Sterling Grove, but more importantly, Urza Saga right behind there. It's my first Saga I've opened. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what to tell you. These, uh, let me get that sick inset token. I mean, two packs in, this is already, like, beating anything I've opened previously. I mean, given that my last previous kit was awesome, I will say Double Fetch um, Sword was pretty sick. But, I mean, just hitting, hitting, um, I mean, a Saga after a... Like that's like what, $150 worth of cards right there? Just those two. So this box is already um, you know, doing wonders. And we get kind of our first whiff, which hey, that's, I'll take it. <laughs> two, um, two home runs. Um, yeah, that's. I was hoping to get a saga, but uh, can't say much more than that. I mean, even like the cards like this, which, you know, are great, right? Be able to hit that, um, you know, in the old borders looks so nice. Ooh, the Faithless Salving. I do actually do want to place it with the uh, sketch arts on those, so that's nice. And that's more just, you know, not having to track them down more so than anything. Oh, you have my Elder, is there uncommon? And we get Endurance as our Mythic, so very nice. Any of the Elemental Incarnations, I think, are uh, off -sweet. Obviously, the Grief would be the best, but, you know, Endurance is bad. I'll take an Endurance. And the Abdian color ones, me personally, are the ones I'm looking for. Um, um, you know, I can't, uh, obviously the other ones are great too, but I think the red one's probably the cheapest one. Ooh, Underworld Cookbook, oh, very nice. The Raven Watch, but that card is a house in limited, holy cow. Playing against that, it just destroys you. Ooh, Counterspell, I think that's my first Counterspell I opened. Just nice seeing Counterspell in the pack. And we get a Priest of the Fell Rites. So not bad. Uh, that's a card I could see definitely, um, you know, being played in something. Um, it's pro. I mean, I don't know if it would be standard principle. Maybe if there's an unearth uh, it comes back, uh, I think that would be cool. Oh, I like the uh, old frame on that one. Um, but yeah, that would be you know a card I could see definitely making a return at some point. You know, printed in the standard label set. I mean, it is quite good, but I mean, there's been other quite good reanimation cards before, so it wouldn't be the first time. Um, all right, there's a Fast and the Furious. Oh, Query and Ranger is a reprint, and our rare is... Yeah, of course, why not? Just keep the hits coming. There we go, that's my playset of, of Hierarchs. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. So I'm definitely getting draft boosters in the future because it's uh, just rolling in the value so far. Just hitting all the highlights. I mean, it, honestly though, if I just hit like nothing but trash for the rest of the box, like it's, ooh, that's a nice one to get as an old frame, frame Murpho players. Um, just being able to hit that is just uh, so nice. And we get suspend. So this little blue removal spell. I thought there was gonna be like a cycle of those because I think uh, these persist came out first and then we saw suspend and it's like, okay, so there's gonna be like a cycle of cards named after mechanics. I don't think there is, but maybe there was, you know, that's, that's, that's a tall order to be able to do that for every one of those. But, you know, if they did, that would be cool. Alright, there's some more. Ooh, school squirrel sanctuary is nice. Hit. A mox monkey. Always fun to open. And our rare is Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp. Very nice. Goes great. And oh, and there's our rare calibrated blast. So whatever. Um yeah, Zabaz though, that card is crazy. I actually had to look it up because we were playing with it the other night um, on spell table, and I had to look up the ability because uh, when you think about um, Modeler, right, there's actually like two abilities, right? One that puts the counters on the creatures, and then one that when the creature dies, um, you get to put the counters it had onto another creature, um, artifact creature. So I had to actually look up to see, like, the first, so the first ability of, of Modeler is actually static, and the second is a trigger. So this actually will put an extra counter when you move the counters over. So it doesn't uh, give itself a counter, obviously. Which is even more confusing, because that's one of the things that's stated on... Another cookbook's awesome. Um, on the uh, page for it is like, oh, it doesn't get an extra counter to itself. Well, it doesn't give extra counters to anything with modular. It's only when it moves the counters. Extruder is our reprint. And we get Subtlety. So, not too bad. Um, you know, I'll take any of the elementals, really, and incarnations. I'm sure they're all going to see play at some point. That's a nice hit. And we got something shiny. It looks like a Dermo Taxi. So maybe I'm just guessing. Ooh, we hit Titania, Priest of Argoth. Protector, sorry, of Argoth. And we did hit a, a regular Dermo Taxi and a foil Dermo Taxi. Ooh, a Timeless Witness. That is sick. Um, look at that. A double taxi uh, in there. Man, if, if the taxi was good, oh. A mythic, foil rare, and a regular rare. I mean, I know that uh, Titania isn't uh, an expensive card, but it's, uh, I do like me lands my uh, decks. And I love the art on that. Kev Walker, old school um, artist. Has kind of the, uh, the hermit flavor to it. All right, and we get, ooh, a Squirrel Sovereign in the old border. That is very nice. A Chainer, Nightmare Depth is a reprint, which I know is not an expensive card, but man, that card is awesome in Unlimited. Uh, Our rare is, Fury. <laughs> so we've hit three of the five. Probably the three least expensive of the five, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. That's, uh, man, that's some, a lot of, uh, I think it's been all of our mythics. No, four mythics, and uh, yeah, three of them have been in, in, uh, incarnations, so. The histories can keep on coming. Ooh, bull, bone shards in the old frame. Very nice. I know that's some of the food decks are playing that card. That's another discard outlet, Asmaran. Another squirrel sovereign, very nice. And the ranger, it's our uncommon, and Do Rashad and Dockhand. Contract tokens, cool. Uh, yeah, Dockhand, I, I don't know, I'm not a Merfolk player, so I don't know how playable it is, but, I mean, Rashad and Port is, uh, you know, it's a card I could see. I don't know if it would be too good, um, maybe. Um, but uh, I could definitely see them reprinting uh, Rashad and Port. And I think I saw a foil Shardless Agent at the end of the pack. So that's, uh, that's a nice hit. And, ooh, Soul Snares are a reprint. Nice one. We hit a Glimpse of Tomorrow. And a Foil Charlotte's Agent. That is nice. Yeah, Charlotte's Agent was a good reprint from the, um... Oh, I can't remember what those are called. The ones with the other land, uh, the foreign you played with the, uh... Plane Chase? I don't remember. Ooh, a Button Harvest. Our common abundant harvest. <laughs> Lots of people thought it was going to be rare because of the uh, archive card. And we get chance encounter reprint. And to go along with a Brea's 
apprentice. Okay, let's move these over here. So yeah, pretty uh, it's pretty sick. So that was that four uh, mythics so far. Let's keep the hits going. Ooh, Ornithopter. Another, ooh, another sketch artist, sketch art, abundant harvest. Which I think if the whole deck was those, it would look kind of weird, but I think, you know, I was just having a couple of playset or so would be is pretty cool. Ooh, a factory, very nice. And we get inverted command. So we're kind of hitting the, um, you know, the kind of pick and shovel cards, they call them, you know, the, the stuff that's uh, maybe playable. But, uh, you know, certainly not to be a lot of value, but stuff that, you know, if you need it, it's, uh, it's nice to have it. Wow. So many alternate frame, alternate art cards. Hunting pack, which for the longest time I didn't actually realize is a reprint, which is funny. And we get another scalding card, and I dropped a bunch of cards on the ground. So let me go get those. So a scalding turn we go. Slip through turn. Steep step through turn, not slips. I think we're gonna get a place out of these terminal agonies. So if there actually was a madness deck that ran them, then I'd be all set. Okay, and our Milliken is our uh, Reprint and our rare is out of time. That was my previous foils. And we get a foil Ethereum spinner. Go along with an elemental. So I did hit my two fetches, so not bad. I hit my high arc. I hit my saga. So we just need like a void stalker, maybe a grief, or a ragavan or something, and we will be uh in the home run category. Okay, ooh, we get a Road to Ruin. And we get Wonder as a reprint. Oh, that's cool, I haven't seen that yet. And, ugh, Nick those Paragon. <laughs> it's just I've seen that, I've gotten that card a bunch, and it's just one of those, it's a good card, just expensive. I mean, I, I think it's also the fact that it's uh, Theros, and there's a lot of bad rares and especially the last few sets of Theros block. So I'm just kind of used to like wincing when I see uh, that enchantment border. It takes me back to uh, the times of opening up lots of bad rares. Oops. I'm gonna get that Dreadmaw out there. Ooh, Braids, nice. And Thought Monitor. Yeah, right, so we're gonna play Affinity. That's uh, I think one of the cards that's being played in Affinity right now. As far as uncommon to go, I'm really just looking for the Chandler. That'd be sick. Seal of removal, very nice. And again, from my first set, Nemesis, very cool. And there it is, Dothy Void Stalker. Yeah. Nice, nice one. Uh, when I first looked at it, I was kind of like, oh, this card is so good against, like, I don't even like it, right? It's like, oh, this card's too good against any graveyard deck. You just have to take it out. You know, like, what does Dredge do against that? You can't do anything. But then I was like, well, it makes the uh, Dirtly decks I like to play better, the 50-50 uh, uh, gun style decks. Ooh, a nice Hermit. Sketch it. I think I've seen more of the Brainstone like with the um, old border, so almost like, this almost looks like the special border to me. Another hunting pack, and we get a Dress Down. Wow. Yep, that holds true to my... Um, I had a rule from a long time ago that if it's blue, it's probably bad. You know the monitor isn't bad, so it's not a hard and fast rule, but in general, if it's blue, it's probably not great. Ooh, another salvaging. I think that gets me almost towards a playset. Ooh, blazing rule wall, and that's the next one. And we get a Patriarch's Bidding reprint, and... Nettle cyst. Okay, so I think that's gonna pop up some place, and then we get a foil black smith skill. Um, Yeah, I've seen that pop up a few places, the uh, cyst, I don't know. 
Like they tried that, I think, that kind of style before, so we'll see if this one's good enough being a, a living weapon. Ooh, a solitary confinement. I think I'm just gonna place it on the new, uh, new border one. I do like the Judgment um, set logo, that's cool. And to go with that Sanctifier and back, this is, ooh, and a foil soul, so a lot of white cards in this pack. Um, yeah, the Sanctifier is nice. It definitely fits in with the theme of like Paladin back that just poses uh, black red decks. Okay. Another Dreadmaw. And Better Bone. Ooh, combined Chrysalis. And a Shardless Agent reprint. Very nice. Along with a Academy Manufacturer. So this is the one that turns like anything that you make that's uh, a clue, food, or treasure token into one of these. So essentially makes the other two that you're missing. That's a cool one. You know, I can imagine like Tireless Tracker working well with that card. Um, I think I read that it was originally going to be two mana. And it might have been a little too good at two mana. That would have been cool to see. Alright. Ooh, Greed. I forgot this was being reprinted. So from, uh, I believe, Legends. Uh, it's nice art. Okay, spinning it up. I think, is that 7th edition maybe? Or, yeah, because it doesn't, does, does not look like early magic art. So, makes me wonder. And we get a Magus of the Bridge. So. Interesting uh, card to make a Magus after. Though it is weird that it doesn't actually work in the graveyard like the original bridge does. Because I guess at that point it would work the same, exact same way, right? It wouldn't matter if it's a creature or not. Yeah, no, that one I'm kind of... I'm kind of uh, not, not sold on as a playable card. The, the downside on that is pretty real in fact that you have to invest in mana. Ooh, a Goblin Bombardment. And Harmonic Prodigy. So I've seen some decks try to play that card. Um, essentially what it does is it triggers double the shaman or wizard triggers. So not bad. Also we get a lot of alternate uh, frame cons and uncommons. Oh, that's got to be my set now. That is awesome. Alright. Ooh, we get a full art Mishra's Factory. That is sweet. That is sick. Oh, so it's so cool to be able to open that in a pack. And we get Karth, the Lion, and a Foil Dragon Rage Chandler. That is awesome. Might have preferred a regular non-foil, but hey, I ain't gonna complain. So at this point, now we're getting down in the packs. In order to avoid disappointment, I'm going to shuffle the packs. Because we all know the last card in the pack is usually, last pack I should say, is usually like the worst. So shuffle it in there so that we have some chance of opening up something sick. This pile of cards out of the way. And let's see how we do. Okay. But yeah, opening up a full art card like that is sick. You know, I know it's probably not expensive, but it just looks awesome. You know, to open that in a pack of magic is uh, something I don't take for granted. Okay. We're looking into Torak Dread Cantor. Nice. Very nice hit. I mean, I know he's not expensive, but he is cool. I mean, when I first read him, I thought, okay, so you basically have to always kick him to get the ability, and it's like, okay. Then I totally forgot the middle of, uh, part where he gets counters, so you're not just kicking um, to get just two discard, you're getting two counters as well, so. Very nice card. Very fun card. That's a card I actually needed too, was a power uh, depot. Ooh, Angelic Curator is our reprint. And we get Gaia's Will. So that is a card, oh, it's Foil Ranger. Uh, that is a card that when you first um, look at it, you're like, wow, you're getting Dogmoth Will. Like that card's broken. And then it's like to spend for. Yeah, it's more like a, definitely a combo piece, I think, as opposed to like the original. Yog Moth Will, which sure was a combo piece. Ooh, Prismatic ending is nice. Um, but it was also just like a value card, right? You could just will on your turn for value. Ooh, that Raptor's Channeler. There it is. There's a regular Dragon's Rage Channeler. Very nice. Mog Salvage. I do love me a Nemesis reprint. And our rare is Search the Premise. So support again for um, the... Uh, 
clues and food and all that good stuff. This one is investigating. Yeah, somebody brought that out that like only clues have a keyword to create them, which is investigate, right? The other two for food and um, okay. for food and uh, what's doing? No, no, having uh, my own here for food and treasure. Sorry, don't have a keyword to create them, right? It's not like you cook food or something. Ooh, another harvest. Plain tongue, uh, yearling, and young. I love these, like the young necromancer, the yearling, all these callback cards. And we get an alternate art, Laza Top Chandler. Our reprint is Patrick Gnomes, and our rare is Dam. Hot Dam. That is a nice one. And Wave Sifter. Okay. So, actually, let me move the wool over here. There you go. All right, we're down to five packs. Let's see if we can. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get greedy enough to call for another mythic, but let's get greedy and call for another mythic. Upheaval, very nice. Reprint, don't know if it's going to have any effect on the format, but hey, it's cool to reprint it. And we get Blood Braid Marauder. Huh. So that is a card that wouldn't surprise me if it's all play, but also, at the same time, I'm not expecting it to. Um, you know, obviously, that fact that you, you have to have trigger uh, delirium in order to get these at the least cascade, right? Yeah, so delirium is the cascade. So that requires a little bit of work, but once you can do it, you can do some uh, fun stuff with it. All right. We get Monoskillion. I do like the old artifact uh, frame, that is cool. Scurry Oak, the uh, combo piece. Flame Rift is a reprint, and our rare is... There you go. There you go. I, I asked, can you get another Mythic? And I got another Mythic. And we are one uh, <laughs> one uh, white inc incarnation away from getting a full set in the box. So, yeah, I think... Uh, I don't think I can ask for much more out of this box than it gave me. It uh, pretty much was a home run. Um, Grand Grand Slam kind of home run, um, as far as I'm concerned. Got everything I wanted, and then some. Ooh, seal of uh, Seal of Cleansing, very nice. And we get, yeah, why not? Get a Misty, get a Misty in there. All the goodies. Yeah, that's three fetches out of this box, so. Yeah, this has been uh, awesome. Cannot, cannot say enough good things about this box. Um, you know, we got a nice number of Mythics. We got, uh, obviously hitting that. Scalding turn, the first pack is sick. Oh, Fey Offering. All right, we get Angelic Curator and... <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. All right, we get our full set of uh, all the different kinds of Dermotaxes you can get. So that's almost a full set of Dermotaxes just in this box. That's funny. All right, last pack, here we go. Um, let's see, ooh, Kitchen Imps, very nice. Very nice. Another Power Depot, a nice. Flame oh, Blitz, all right. We get Sea Drake as our common, and we get, it's red. Obsidian Fire Maw, Char Maw, sorry. Very nice. It's actually a card I, I actually look forward to uh, getting, so. Sick, all right, so let's just do a quick uh, recap. So we hit uh, pretty much everything I was looking for. Um, and then how many Mythics did we get? So we hit uh, the Turok, the Grief, the Fury, the Titania. So we got four. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Because we got the four and we got the two additional ones. So six Mythics, including three Fetches, the, all, all blue, uh, including one Old Border, a Saga, a Voidwalker, a Dam, and a Hierarch. Even this cool alternate art uh, factory hanging out in the corner there. So again, this is an awesome box. I'm very happy with it. And uh, just want to thank you uh, for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching these uh, sick rips. So take care.